Hi and welcome to this short video on how to set up and save your images for club competitions, for the DPI projected uh, competitions. Now I've got three images prepared here, they're not actually ones I'm going to use in competition but it's just three images just as an example. They're all opened up in Photoshop which is the best way to start <coughs> and um, the first thing to do is decide where you're going to save the competition pictures and I usually create a separate directory to put them in and so I'll do that now. I've got a disk here that I use for lots of temporary stuff that can be deleted and messed about with so go into temporary pics and I shall make a new folder called club comp. There we go. So that's that done. So now what we're going to do is to save all these at the right size. So we go to File, Scripts, Image Processor. Now the Image Processor is a wonderful little thing because it will process a whole stack of files automatically. Now in our case we want it to use the open images. You can actually set it up to use images that are already in a folder somewhere and if you want it will process hundreds of images at a time. But for our particular case, all we want to do is process these three images. So we choose use the open images. Then we need to select here in the second box where we want to save them. Now we can save them back to the same location that the original images were stored in. But that's not really what we want to do here. We want to save them where the club competition folder is that we just created. <coughs> so we go and find temps again pictures which is my messing about area. I've got a file here called a folder called club comp. We'll choose that one. This changes to club comp. So that's where they're going to be saved. That's where I'll find them after we've finished. So down here you can choose what to save them as. You can save them as PSDs, as TIFFs, but we want JPEGs for the club competition. And as far as club quality goes we want the best we can get and that's a number 10. The important thing is we need to convert them to be the right size. Now the maximum size that the projector can handle is 1400 wide by 1050 high. So we put those in there and when it processes, when Photoshop processes the images, it will make sure that they're, they will fit within that space. And the other really th important thing to do to make sure that your colours come out correctly is to click that button there which is convert the profile to sRGB. sRGB is what all the projectors use. If you don't convert your images to sRGB you will get different colours come out on the screen and different brightnesses etc. So that's all we have to do to set this up. Once we've done that um, all we have to do is click run and Photoshop will do it. Now having done this once you will probably find that if you don't change these, every time you go back to these screens, this screen, all these settings will remain there, which is quite handy. So you just hit run, and if you watch, Photoshop will go and it's running through, changing the size of the images, etc., and saving them. Okay, there we are. I think it's done that. Now, what it hasn't done is change the size of these original images. So if you look at these images as image size, you will see they're all big images, 3000 by 1900. Um, this one is also same sort of size, 4300 by 2900, and again here. So although it's saved them um, at a smaller size for projection, it hasn't altered these original files that you had open in Photoshop. However, if we go to Tempix and Club Comp in a folder called JPEG because it always creates a folder with whatever type of file it's created. You'll find our three files and if we look at those just by hovering over them you'll see that this one is restricted to 1400 by 940 which is fine. This one as well 1400 by 841 1400 by 717 so Photoshop has very cleverly gone away, restricted the size of the files, included the sRGB profile, 
and save them in a separate location. So all you have to do now to prepare them for the club comp, I didn't want to do that, is just click on that and change the name. Now the format for the name is the author's name, followed by an underscore, followed by the caption, um, castle in this case. Uh, don't use any punctuation in the titles, etc., apostrophes or anything like that. They don't normally come out. Sometimes they stop them appearing in the projection. So best to leave them out. We'll put up with poor grammar. After the um, title, you have to put an underscore and an NA. That's because we don't use that particular category in club competitions. I've done it again. Uh, so just change this one. So it's author's name. You can have spaces in the author's name underscore um, title underscore na finally the last one is underscore title beach underscore na there we go and that's all those three images ready for sending all you have to do is pop those into an email and you're in business and Trevor will be a happy bunny. Thanks for watching. Bye.